Frågan är då om man ska, man ska snitta lite grann på de här. Får du sätta dig ner?
Det er fandme du også. Ja. Og så her er det sterkt. Oi, 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 oi. Du får kvadra litt mer der borte. Vi kan bli under. Og så holder du det spent i. Ta tag i lite där kanske, om det går. Har du sett något sånt här förut? Mamma. Mamma gick på toa. Du kanske vill höra något mer svängigt. We have had a very rainy fall, 
and me and Tuva's brother put this tarp over the cellar so that we could work on the form and stay relatively dry. It felt good, but the next day there was very high winds and it all broke. All the beautiful leaves blew off from the trees as well. I ended up building much of the form covered in rain clothes instead. Today is the day when we are going to put some concrete on this cellar and make the roof. And it's very exciting. <laughs> Hopefully the form will hold up. As you can see here we literally got a forest of beams supporting the form. So. I'm surprised if this will not hold up but there's going to be a couple of tons of weight on top of this now it feels good to finally have the roof done with that it's means not done yet no but <laughs> soon hopefully so that's one step further not have to keep working with the cellar mm. <laughs> there's a couple of things left the door and some other things but when the roof is there it's going to feel really good mm. then we'll need to get the dirt on top of mm. the that will be another story <laughs> so the farmer in the village is going to help us with his large tractor and and uh, mix the concrete with his concrete mixer and, and pour it in this form so our job will be to shuffle it where it needs to be Skitskruvar. Ja. Det är något sånt där att de har Fjula. fått ut skott. Ja. Det var ju billigt. Ja, det var jättebilligt. Ja. Underkant. Det här.
Nej, vad bra. Jag tror att det känns bra. Gå med det verktyget. Men för helvete. Vad är det nu då? Nej, jag ska jag. Kasta. Ja, vi hade haft allt det där. Ja, ja, ja. Vad skulle han ha då? Ja, det vet vi inte. Om du betalar själv för vägen? Ja. Like a beetle. <laughs> you can't believe how good this feel. I don't even know how to express myself. <laughs> I was very worried about this, how it was going to go. And we're so lucky to have the neighbor that helped us with the concrete and the tractor. I have no idea how we have, would have solved this without him. To make all these concrete with the <laughs> small concrete mixer we had access to, I don't know. But it's done now and it's feels really good. So this is just after one day. I guess I need to water it. I feel really tired in my arms now, shoveling all this in place. It was really hard to get it even and sort of an even layer. Kan du ha mamma du? Ja mamma. Ja mamma i stan en sväng och handla lite.
I guess there is nothing much more valuable than a community around you. That is something I think about often, how to build a great community. We got this small village here and I think, I, I feel that it is a very good village. Of course there are some squabbles and uh, people disagreeing with each other and, and so on, but I think this village is very good. It has been a little bit unstable now since Tuva's grandmother is not no longer with us. She was one of the very important persons in this village. Can we walk? Can we walk now? Can we walk to Mumma? I don't know if Mumma is home, but we can walk and see. Ja, vi ska äta där ikväll. So I've been thinking a lot about how to really pro uh, how to really make a good community out of the people around here. And this with the regenerative agriculture and and uh, growing soil and sequestering carbon and really producing food in a in a way that regenerates the land around you is something that is very important to me and I want to implement that in to the whole village and be able to provide and feed my community that is a dream of mine and hopefully this cheese cellar will be a part of that Yeah hi where should we go